Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I do want to apologize. I know we are a bit behind on the readings. Uh, we just have tons of new things and a lot of projects that I am currently working on. I will update you guys. Anyways, let's get into this reading for Pisces. Let's see what is unfolding for you for the remainder of August 2021. How are you doing, Pisces? I hope you guys are doing amazing. We're starting off with the Chariot card, the King of Wands, the Six of Cups, the Strength card, the Hanged Man, Nine of Wands, the High Priestess, the Ace of Wands, the Lovers, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Pisces. So what I'm seeing here for you guys is it's almost like there is, you're becoming very decisive. You are going after what it is that you want. This is you being in action with the chariot right at the center. It can almost feel like the past week and a half, you've been experiencing a lot of changes or a lot of momentum. This is uh, being busy. This is being kind of being pulled towards different directions. Um, but this can also represent getting to a point of having to make a decision. Now, we do have here the Six of Cups with the Strength card. I feel that for some of you guys, the decision has to do uh, with choosing to remain in a situation where you've been dealing with a person or your partner, um, someone that you've been really putting effort and energy, um, nurturing this connection. Um, and for others of you, I feel that there could be some type of temptation here that we're going to be experiencing as we do have the strength card. The strength card is a very sexual card, a very sexual energy, especially because as the obstacle we have the king of wands so for some of you guys it could be dealing with a fire energy of uh, leo sagittarius um, aries for others you may be dealing with a cancer uh, with the leo i do see earth here as well Cap capricorn taurus virgo however what they're showing me here is what's keeping you from progress is this king of wands and the chariot is about quick movement. It's about moving forward. It's about going towards the direction that your will, that your heart, that your mind um, is invested in. And with the king of wands, this could be a person that is from your past um, that may be coming back around or may be reaching out to you or may be uh, trying to reconnect with you because we do have the Six of Cups here. And I feel that when this happens, there is almost this feeling of, it's like you're walking towards a direction, you're walking with purpose, and then all of a sudden, someone that meant something or a great deal to you in the past decides to pop up again. And it's almost like I see you really thinking or wondering, do I really want what I've been aiming to achieve or is it changing really what it is that I want based on this person coming back around? Do you see what I'm saying? So it's almost as if some type of distraction, I feel that they're coming back around and I feel that it's almost like what your focus or energy was towards, it completely changes because they show up or because they reach out. Um, however, with the hanged man here, this is crowning your energy, Pisces. And what they're saying is now is not the time to be sacrificing yourself or sacrificing your happiness. Um, the hanged man is a representation of of your energy Pisces with the nine of wands you need to stand your ground you need to know um, what it is that you deserve so if this person from the past was someone that hurt you was someone that um, left you waiting for them because I'm almost hearing like 
you know, time is ticking. And usually when I hear that, it's an indication that you've been either, you kind of stopped living or you kind of stopped um, moving on because you were hoping or you've been hopeful about this return or this contact or this communication. Um, but with the nine of wands here, it's almost like getting to the to the point of saying no, no more. I'm no longer sacrificing myself or I am no longer um, accommodating you, making things easy for you. And you become more empowered. You become more um, taking your energy back here with the strength card. And you also do have the high priestess. So the high priestess as an advice is don't take anything. Um, again, if you're dealing with the person that pops up that is from your past, don't take whatever they tell you at face value. Understand that there may be certain things that they're keeping from you or that they're not being completely transparent or honest about. I don't see uh, the situation of it progressing into something because we do have here the Ace of Wands. And this is their energy. This is what they're wanting. They're, they're wanting a new start. They're wanting to reconnect. Uh, they're wanting to have that contact that communication with you and you have the lovers there is a decision that needs to be made for some of you it could be choosing between two lovers for others of you it's choosing a person that you're currently with um, or deliberating if you should choose them over someone from your past however what they're telling you here is the lovers with the strength card is temptation so what they're telling you is if you feel like you're being very tempted don't put all your eggs in that basket only because with the ten of pentacles they're telling you choose what is most stable for you choose the person that has been there for you that has held it down for you choose the person that is choosing you not someone that in the past walked away or chose someone else and now they're coming back around because it didn't work out and they're choosing you no choose the person that chose you because with the high priestess here there are certain things that are not being like i said in out in the open they're not being honest or transparent about certain things with the lovers here as a representation of your hopes or fears you're hoping to restart you're hoping to have that passion that intensity that connection uh, but it may come at having to choose because it's like being at crossroads it's about choosing between two people or choosing stability if you've built stability after this person pulled away kind of getting yourself back together and you know starting life again are you going to allow them to come back around to knock you off what you've been building on yourself? Um, because there is, you know, this feeling of inadequacy on their part. And it could be the reason why they either pulled away or it could be the reason why there was no contact or no communication. So ultimately what they're telling you is whatever decision you make, Pisces, understand that sometimes we are more hopeful or holding on to the past based on what we thought we what we envisioned in our mind what happiness would be with this person but it doesn't necessarily mean that that's what it's going to be it's almost like being tied to an illusion versus the reality and what they're telling you is choose your reality Pisces choose the reality choose what is most stable for you don't run on temporary emotions because you can potentially have to sacrifice something here where it may in turn uh, become something that you later regret so just be mindful about that all right, Pisces, I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.